Apple has just taken the wraps off the updated entry-level MacBook Pro, getting rid of the function keys and so much more. Here's why the new machines are totally worth it. Hey everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. And yes, today we're gonna to talk about the updated 2019 base model MacBook Pro. The new 13 inch machine finally banishes the physical function keys for the somewhat controversial touch bar. But it's more than just a switch from physical function keys to the touch bar. There's a whole lot more to check out with this machine. So let's go over everything new in the 2019 entry level 13 inch MacBook Pro. So yes, the biggest change is gonna be the abandonment of the physical keys for the touch bar. But along with the touch bar comes a few other little perks. Notably, it has Touch ID built in, so you can now get into your machine, enter passwords, all using the Touch ID sensor and just your finger. Secondly, it brings along the T2 chip. This custom Apple security chip helps a lot with protecting your machine, as well as with hardware video encoding. Moving on, it also comes with a new keyboard. So this is going to be the latest generation butterfly keyboard, the same we saw with all the other new MacBook Pros. Before we get into all of the other great features, let's talk about our sponsor for this video, Linode. Linode offers high performance SSD Linux servers for all of your infrastructure needs. Linode is quickly expanding and thanks to additional all new data centers, Linode offers some of the fastest hardware and network in the industry. It doesn't matter if you're just starting out or deploying a complex system. It is fast and easy to get up and running with no surprise fees and 24 seven support. There is a huge library of quick installs from WordPress to Minecraft and tons of extra features such as backups, block storage, node balancers, and more. Head right now to linode.com AI and use promo code AI2019 for a $20 credit. A few other changes along with this new MacBook Pro, it has true tone in the display. So the display will now change its kind of warmth level based on the room that you're in. It's a little bit more blue, a little bit more warm, and it makes it more comfortable and easy on the eyes. Though video editors and photo editors may still want things true to life. We have gone from Bluetooth 4.2 to Bluetooth 5, so it supports the latest Bluetooth spec. As far as graphics go, it used to have the Iris Plus Graphics 640, and now it becomes the Iris Plus Graphics 645. The battery life is still rated for the same, though there is a small increase in watt hours and the actual capacity of the battery from the previous generation to the current generation. And it comes equipped still with only two Thunderbolt 3 ports, though for an upgrade fee, you can go from two ports to a four port setup. So other than the touch bar, the biggest change here is gonna be the upgrade in processor. It's gone from a 2.3 gigahertz dual core i5 processor to a newer generation 1.4 gigahertz i5 processor, but this time it's a quad core. So going from dual core to quad core. You're gonna notice this upgraded processor is faster for a number of reasons. One, Apple has increased the eDRAM from 64 megabytes to 127. It's a quad core instead of just a dual core, and it's a newer generation of the i5 chipset. Otherwise, these machines are very similar to what they were before, but those are some pretty substantial changes in there, especially if you're looking at that base model, because the prices really haven't changed. So what do you guys think? Do you guys prefer the old generation physical keys and the dual core processor? Or are you lusting after the new base model that has a touch bar and that faster quad core processor? Let us know down below in the comments and which one you prefer over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.